Designing Components with Element UI, Section 2. In this section, we will learn how we can use the form components that Element UI provides to design beautiful forms such as login, sign up, and any other forms that are mostly used in popular web applications. We will also learn how we can use data components such as table, tags, progress bars, tree, and paginations. In this section, you will also be introduced to element UI notices such as alert, loading, message boxes, notifications. In the end of this section, we will learn how we can use navigation components such as nav menu, tabs, breadcrumbs, drop downs, and steps. Designing form components using element UI. In this video, we will utilize the form components that Element UI provides and design some forms that our web application needs. So let's go to our code editor and create a signup component. In the signup component, I would like to have the same header and footer, and in the main body, I would like to have two cards that will display separate forms for login and sign up. Now that I have copied the header and the footer from the landing page that we created in the, in the previous video, let's go ahead and create a view router link for the sign up button. Now let's go to our routes.js file and link the signup to a signup component. Now let's start populating the main body of the signup page. In the main body, I would like to first create a row with the type flex and a gutter of value 20 and a justification center. Inside I would like to have two columns with a span of 8. And inside each column I would like to display a card. Let's go to our browser and see how this looks. For the login form, I will use the element form component. Inside the form, I have a label and then an input field. When declaring the form, the label position can be initialized with the label hyphen position attribute. The default value of this attribute is right. Here I am using a data variable label position to define the position of the labels. Let's go to our script and define the label position. The first label is email and the label is defined by using element form item. We will use v-model to create two-way binding for the input values. The default value of this input will be set to empty. And similarly, we have another form item with an input type of password. In the end, we will have an element button with the primary type, and on click, it will call an on submit method. Now, let's go to our browser and see how this looks. Here I would like to increase the width of the login button. Similarly, I would like to create a signup form. So let's go to our code editor. To show language options, I will use element select component. This select component will have a two-way binding with the value 
variable and the placeholder will simply say select and the size will be provided as large. Element options can also be displayed by using V-4 directive that will loop through each item inside the options array and display its value and its label. Now let's go to our script section and we can initialize our options array with a value and a label. Now let's go to the browser and see how this looks. Next, I would like to display gender by using element radio button. Let's go ahead and utilize this. In my script section, I will define the radio data with a default value of 1. Now let's go to our browser. Next, I would like to display a date picker for selecting date of birth. Let's use the default one. Element date picker have a type date and a placeholder that will display the text. Let's go to our browser and see how this looks. That is it for this video.